Once upon a time, there is a girl which was usually called by the name Rose Kevin. She is a kind girl, but sometimes she didn't listen to what her parents said. Until one day, she was asked by her father to visit her grandma that is sick in bed. Her mother prepared a basket that contains food and medicine that will be taken by Rose Kevin for her grandma and Rose Kevin waiting for her mother in front of the house to take her leave. Rose Kevin bringing Desa Elmer to dinner drop mother in. Desa Elmer get as medicament on out di Leben Smita when she drink with sick person. Yeah, okay. Before do get if muta dear aina bratu geben or stay with with us bills do need him walk on with get me under swap to sali um air group motor house with get scanner with us house before aben with us pre need primat First step do protection. I'm first standard muti. Choose gross guard. Choose muti. On the way to her grandma's house, Rose Kevin saw a garden filled with many beautiful flowers. She thought that it would be good to bring some flowers for, for her grandma. She hoped her to get well soon. <laughs> Finally, Rose Caption went to the garden and took a few flowers. She forgot about her mother's advice and took a few flowers for her grandma. When Rose Caption busily picking flowers, suddenly came a man with a strong muscle and white skin. He approached Rose Caption that was still picking flowers. What must do, Rose Caption? In mother, do in the end, Rokeshen followed the man she just met. They went to the town that is closer to the forest and doing some shopping there. They bought Rokeshen's grandma a gift and decided to eat in the restaurant. This do Gukli? Yeah, it's been Gukli. Kornanasan Bestalan? Yeah. Kalnar? Can I help you? Free do dudes? <laughs> that man couldn't understand English. Meanwhile, the butler only understood English. The man couldn't take orders. That was when Rock Caption, who could speak English fluently, offered herself to help. She can me English prehan. Meet us do mir at last for this best talent. Yeah. I mate brought cafe on orange soft. Orange soft for the. Finally, Rock Caption took the food order for them. Yeah. Bread, coffee, and orange juice, please. Bread, coffee, and orange juice. Uh, yes. The butler understood what Rokevshen said, and finally they ate comfortably. Rokevshen remembered that she must go to her grandma's house, and decided to move on. Eh, must just gain. Just. Rock immediately went to her grandma's house, but she forgot her mantle left at a restaurant. Wah, mantel miliknya tertinggal. Mungkin aku harus menyusul ya. The man intended to chase Rock Caption while she was already at her grandma's house.
Rukafshan came and saw her grandma asleep in her bed. Rukafshan and her grandma Timuma discussed happily. It was that time Rukafshan realized that her mantle was left at the restaurant. Her grandma promised her that we should make a new mantle for her, and Rakhavan felt happy. Rakhavan opened the door, surprised. She saw the man that invited her to the restaurant, brought the mantle to her grandma's house. Timun Mas saw that happen and came to the man. The man and Timun Mas were taken by surprise. Timon Mas was really surprised hearing her Indonesian name called, and moreover, the man can speak Bahasa Indonesia. Meanwhile, Rokapshan seems confused with it. Siapa kau? Aku adalah Jin Raksasa yang dulu kau bunuh. Dulu kau bunuhku. Sekarang aku jadi manusia serigala. Itu semua gara-gara kau, Timon Mas. Timun Mas grabbed a rocket and ran away by the back door. The men chased after them and chained to a werewolf. They ran until exhausted. After the intense fight, the world finally died. Thank you, you saved us. Okay, no worry, little girl. Now I must go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Finally, Timumas decided to gather with Rokafen and her mother. She started to live with her family as Fanasi returned to Rome, and the werewolf, he reconnected to Waterface. They seem to live happily forever after. <laughs>